Hi, I'm Sunita Williams, a NASA astronaut. Sunita Williams is a woman of many parts. She was a naval aviator, helicopter pilot, test pilot, naval diver, swimmer, and marathon runner. And now, she is an astronaut and world record holder in spacewalking. Looked at from another angle, she may be regarded as an ordinary person in missions to the International Space Station. She also holds the record for spacewalking time for f Today, Sunita is exploring space. But the root of her aspiration had been planted deep by her parents and siblings, who gave her the wings to fly. Sunita was brought up in a loving family, that nurtured her inherent talents, and supported her, while she worked hard to compete and excel. She is the youngest of the three children of Dr. Deepak N. Pandya, and Bani Zalakar Pandya. Her father, an Indian from Gujarat, and her mother, a Slovenian from Europe, live now in the USA as naturalized Americans. Sunita's blood has been colored with the Indian heritage of her father, the European heritage of her mother, and the values of the land, that is America, where she was born and brought up in. She has swum in the seas and dived deep into it, flown aircrafts in war, and on humanitarian missions, blasted off into space, and flown back to the earth. Sunita was first sent to an elementary school, and then to a junior high school to study from kindergarten to the ninth grade. After that, she went to Needham High School at Boston, from the 10th to the 12th grade. Sunita loved sports, particularly swimming. She went for a lot of competitive swimming, encouraged by her parents. She also took part in the Boston Marathon. After Needham, she joined Wellesley College, one of the famous institutions for women in the USA. Growing up in these institutions deeply influenced her. It was a happy and meaningful period in her life. She was always busy learning new things and always looking for new adventure. She always had lots of friends and has always understood the value of friendship. People loved to be around her because she was always positive and happy. Her friends thought that she would go far because she was always pushing herself to the limits. After college, she could have gone to Columbia or Yale, but she chose the U.S. Naval Academy, USNA. At the Naval Academy, she got training as a Navy diver and Navy aviator. For naval aviation, she was trained first as a helicopter pilot. After that, Sunita was selected for training as a naval test pilot. These trainings, and the experience earned, gradually led her to National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA, and the Astronaut Program. Hi, my name is Captain Sunny Williams. I went to the Naval Academy class of 1987. I was a physical science major. I've been in the Navy now 28 years. One of the greatest things about the Naval Academy is it gives you a lot of opportunities. And one of those opportunities for me was going to dive school on my way to flight school. Right after that, got picked up for test pilot school. Tested all the helicopters in the Navy and the Marine Corps. We had the opportunity to come here to Johnson Space Center. And I've been at NASA since 1998. I've had about seven spacewalks. Right now that's a record for women and hopefully will be surpassed before too long with the next generation. The Naval Academy brings back all sorts of great memories, primarily the people, your classmates, your teammates, of course, your roommates as well. But Sunita's yearning to go higher and further into space goes back to her childhood. When she was around five years old, she was deeply impressed by Neil Armstrong walking on the moon. Probably because of something at the back of her mind, Sunita started trying to become an astronaut. She started training with NASA, and ultimately she was selected to work on the space station project. The work was tough and taxing. It involved physical, task, and endurance programs, along with a thorough study of technical and engineering details. She had to be prepared and ready for space, on the basis of experience and anticipation. She had also to be ready for earthbound missions, anticipating situations, 
based on the physical environment and the ground realities. Sunita went through the rigorous process and was ready for the mission. In this context, it will be relevant to remember Sunita's relation with Kalpana Chawla, the first woman astronaut of Indian origin, whose space odyssey ended in tragedy when the space shuttle carrying her exploded during the return journey to Earth. Sunita was quite close to Kalpana, a gracious and unassuming woman, and learned many things from her, like the love of Indian classical music. For Indians, Sunita has become the living embodiment of Kalpana and her dreams. Now, getting down to the brass tacks, the space shuttle, carrying a crew of seven members including Sunita Williams, was launched on December 9, 2006, and it arrived at the International Space Station, ISS, on December 11, 2006. The International Space Station is located at an orbit round the Earth, at an approximate altitude of 360 kilometers, and traveling at an average speed of 27,744 kilometers per hour. To the space station, Sunita carried with her a copy of the Bhagavad Gita, a small statue of Lord Ganesha, and a letter written by her father. Exercise was a very important activity on the ISS to maintain bone and muscle health in a condition of weightlessness. Walking was one of the items of exercise, and walking was not restricted to the inside of the space station. In her first trip June 21, 2007, in her latest expedition to the ISS, launched on July 15, 2012, she stayed in space for another 127 days. From this journey, she returned to the Earth on 17 November, 2012. As of now, she has a record of spacewalks for 50 hours and 40 minutes and 322 days, in two expeditions to the International Space Station. The work, sense of discipline, persistence, courage, and willingness to push herself to the limit, and the unstinting support and encouragement of her parents, siblings, and friends.